In this video, I want to show you a fun programming trick in C that has to do with array indices. So first we'll make an array. We'll say int a is equal to, and we'll put 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 in there, and we'll have an array with five ints. And normally we could access these values by saying a, open bracket, maybe two, close bracket. And we could print this out. We could say printf a2 is equal to percent d slash n. And we could output the value in the index two of this array a. And if we save it and run it, we're going to get 30 because two would be a third element in the array. Now, another way that we can actually set and access array elements is by putting the index first and then the array inside the brackets. So I can technically do this. I could technically say 1a. This will actually allow me to access the second element in the array here, 20. So I could say printf, and we'll output 1a is equal to percent d slash n, and we'll output 1a here. I could save this and run it, and we're going to get 20 here. And this works. So somehow this is working. Somehow this is allowing us to access index one of this array here, A. We could even do it with a variable in a loop. So I could say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than five, i plus plus, and we'll actually set each element of this array with this sort of notation. So we'll say i A is equal to, and I'll say here, i plus four. And then we could print out the elements of the array this way too. We could say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than five, i plus plus. We'll do a printf of i or percent d a is equal to percent d slash n, and we'll output i, and we'll output i at a. So we'll save this and run it, and this will actually work. So here we get four, five, six, seven, eight now in our array a because we added four to i when setting the elements at index i, when i is going from zero up until, but not including five. And then when we print them out, we get four, five, six, seven, eight. So what's going on here that this is actually working? So what's happening is that this syntax here of the array name followed by brackets with the index inside of them is really a syntactic sugar, we could say, for the pointer notation for accessing an array. So the pointer notation works like this. We would say star a plus two is equal to, maybe we'll say 200. And what we've done here is set the array a at index two equal to 200. And we could print that out just to verify it. So we could say printf a at index two is equal to percent d slash n, and we'll output a at index two and we should get 200 there, and we do. So what's going on here is we're using what's called pointer notation to access the array. What's going on inside here with a plus two is what's called pointer arithmetic. Basically what's going on is that a represents the address in memory where our array is stored. And when we add two to it, we're saying shift over in memory two integers and access that value which is gonna be the third element of the array. And this star here dereferences this memory address and it goes and gives us access to it. And we set it equal to 200 at that point. So I've got some other videos on pointers and pointer notation and so forth that I'll link to, but that's what's going on here. Now this syntax here with A and then the index here in the brackets, we would call this a syntactic sugar. Really what this is doing is giving us a nicer, easier to understand way of accessing arrays. But under the hood, really what's going on is this. We can think of this notation here as being translated to this notation here. Now with this notation here, it makes no difference if we say a plus two or two plus a. So I could say two plus a is equal to 200. I can save this and run it, and it's gonna work exactly the same as before, and we'll end up with a at index two being equal to 200. So that's why we can do this. That's why we can rotate around i and a like this, because really this notation, we can think of as being translated to this notation. And in this notation here, the pointer notation, it makes no difference the order of 
to an A or whatever index we want to give here. So that's what's going on. This is a neat little trick we can use in C. Now this isn't super practical. Where this could really come up is really for entertainment. So programmers, just for fun, will try to write programs that are incredibly hard to decipher and understand. And they'll even run contests to try to write programs that are tricky to understand by using obscure syntax like this. So this one's really more for fun, but it is kind of interesting and it does actually help us understand how C is working better under the hood. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.